Hello, comrade. Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Today, we're going to be building little Lenins all around the city, and we're going to be doing it under our own steam. That's very, very exciting. But before we get to building little Lenins, uh, there's a couple of housekeeping bits that we need to talk about. So, it turns out that in the last episode, when I uh, when I built Irongrad, Irongrad looks very, very nice. We haven't actually started any uh, train services to this area yet, so it's understandable how there's nothing going on, there's no activity uh, around here. However, ironically, we've created somewhat of a of a demon. Uh, this, this track, which goes, I mean, well, it loops all the way around, goes over the bridge and back around. This track is actually really irritating in a way, because it does something that I completely didn't expect it to do. Uh, so, for example, let's talk about this train that's just about to get into the station. So it goes from Potatograd train station to Vulcan Denny, which is the, I mean, it used to be called Industry Grad, but it, I think it just got too big, so it made its own area. Anyway, uh, this is the, this is the Vulcan Denny train station, the train platform. So, you would expect that the train... Uh, gets into the station, comes down one of these tracks, or comes down this track, should I say, goes into one of these stations, and then goes back up and around, just along this track, etc, etc, over to the station. Let's watch what actually happens as soon as it gets in. So it gets into the station, loads up with uh, a bunch of loyal comrade workers. There we go. Wonderful. And then it continues on straight. Hmm. Now... Where do you think it's gonna go? Well, given the fact that uh, we literally just had a conversation about this, there's, there's, uh, there's, there's really, there's really no, uh, there's really no mystery as to where it actually is going. Um, is it maybe because I messed that signal up? We'll try doing that, see if that makes any difference. There we go. Let's see if that makes a, uh, a difference. I don't think it will, unfortunately. I think that the trains are just going to be uh, very, very eager to go around that loop. And unfortunately, that means that there is now every single train. Look, this is the train. This is the, the nice, shiny one that goes to Leisuregrad. You know, the one that only has only, like, 20 passengers on it? Look at, look at, let's watch, let's watch where this fine fella goes. Uh, as soon as he gets unjammed. Hold on. Can I, uh, can I aid this in any way? I know, I, I'm, I'm... I'm making the mistake where I'm, I'm fiddling with trains. There we go. Anyway, but I want to, I want to highlight the, uh, I want to highlight exactly what's going on. So here he comes, all the way down here. And he's gonna take the next left turn, and he's gonna go up and over the bridge. And it boggles my mind why this is happening. Because as far as I'm aware, I didn't actually change anything. Look, some, another train just did it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely little, uh, little trip that we're going on here. A wonderful example to showcase all that we've built. I'm very proud of it. But it's... It's unbelievably annoying. Not to mention, the 20 passengers have now disappeared. So, you know, the amount of, the amount of worker attrition that we've got is quite simply astounding. Look at that, the number of, uh, unemployed workers has shot up, uh, this year. There we go. Can I have a... Can I have a... No, okay. It's it's too... It's too much of a faff to fiddle around with this, but the point is that you, you get what I'm saying. It's, it's a very, very irritating. It also means that no oil is getting processed, or very little oil is getting processed. More crucially, it means that, uh... Almost no one is getting to work at the power plant, so that's pretty darn irritating. And I don't think uh, the little change that I just made to the signal over there is going to make a, uh, a shred of difference. I actually have no idea uh, what we can do. To be honest, maybe just get rid of this uh, bit of track. I mean, you're literally now going to be forced to turn around and go the other direction, right? Well, that seemed to work. That did seem to work. That is a good start, but we're going to have to see if it actually fixes the problem. Oil grad, yep, that's looking fine. Right. 
yeah, just a little bit irritating that this uh, that this whole thing had to happen right now. The other the other idea that I did have, bear with me on this one, folks. The other idea that I did have is we can reconnect this bit of track, right? Which of course we can't actually reconnect that bit of track to uh, too small a gap. But what we could do is we could create like another funnel up to this area so that the trains could uh, so that the trains could access this uh, this bypass. I don't know if it would speed things up tremendously. In fact, it would probably slow things down, to be brutally honest. But you never know; it's an option. It's definitely, definitely something that we can do. Have we got any coal? I think that we're a bit short on uh, our coal supply at the moment. No, we're not. We're just short on workers, maybe. No, we're not short on workers anymore. I think we probably were short on workers. Uh, we were probably short on power. Okay, good. Well, the power has been successfully resolved. Happy days. This one train is apparently doing all of the heavy lifting. 1,200 workers. Already that change seems to have made a difference. We've got massive tailbacks. Oh my good golly gracious me. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is another, this is another sort of mini mission that I have eventually. Last chance to buy an iconic bus? No, you're alright. Another, the other mini mission that I have, uh, which I feel that maybe we should do before before Lenin's, because Lenin probably would not be too happy with what I've uh, managed to create here. <laughs> this is, I mean, this is true Soviet inefficiency. I mean, true Soviet uh, efficiency. We're storing loads of trains on the tracks. That's the most efficient way to store uh, vehicles of this nature. Uh, but the point is, is that it's not working too well. I'm, I'm not super happy with it. Now, is there any way that we can fix this? I'd like to get rid of this road, and I'd like to get rid of these tunnels. Uh, but I don't really want to get rid of the fields. There's 27 tons of crops waiting to be harvested there. 12 tons there. Alright, that ain't good. That ain't good whatsoever. Oh my goodness. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. You know, I don't... There's something about it. I don't know. I don't. I shouldn't feel proud about it. In fact, well, I, I really don't feel proud about it. But there's there's something satisfying knowing that I created this whole thing. You know? I want to see if the leisure grad train works as intended. Because if it doesn't, then we're gonna have to then we're gonna have to to rethink this uh, this whole thing. Ah, yes, you're supposed to be going from uh, from this train station to industry grad. Good. Are you going to go where you're supposed to go now? Can I delete that track? Probably not. I will delete that track, sure. And you're gonna go in the correct direction, I think, aren't you? No, you see, you go, you go around this way. What's all that about? Why would you, why would you do that? Why would you do that? But we can't get rid of this track because otherwise uh, it's going to be, it's going to be a nightmare. See, you're going around again. Why would you just not go? Right. So you're going to fill up more workers here. Yep. And then you're going to go straight on. Okay. See, this is this is just absolutely not on. I I just I do not understand. I do not understand how that works. All right, let's 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 try and link up this bypass. It's against my better judgment, but you know what? We're going to give it a crack. Uh, let's delete some of this nonsense road. I, I do actually want to redo a whole bunch of road. It's one of my one of my slight missions. All right, uh, get rid of this road. Get rid of that road, that road, that road. Yeah, there really should be more bridges. There really should be more bridges in Potato Grad. There is absolutely no excuse for the shocking lack of bridges. Okay. Maybe this is a chance to address the uh, the chronic lack of them. Alright, let's get that in place. And let's make it a one-way signal. There you go. You're going to oil grad anyway. Perfect. That does sort of disconnect the entire city from uh, from the road network, but that's fine. I'm not super worried about it. Uh, let's see if we can try and get some bridges on the go now. With that little, with that little bypass, I think that we might actually be onto a winner there. 
reconnect this railway. See if it makes a difference. I mean, this area is... It's a lost cause. It's a its a total lost cause. Uh, but it's kind of... It's, it's kind of cool, honestly. I kind of dig it. I don't know what it is. I just dig it. There we go. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It works completely as intended, and it shortens the journey time. I say it shortens the journey time. It would be shorter if the train just turned around in the station and drove back in the other direction. But, you know, I, I can't stop that. Uh, this leisure grad guy should go around this way, right? No, he doesn't. Uh, that's because there's no way to get from this line to that line over there. I mean, you are just... I'm going to retire this train. This train is just... I don't want to say it's been a colossal failure, but, I mean, it has been a colossal failure. Right, now let's fix the road network before Lenin gets mad at me. Although I think by this point, Lenin was uh, was long gone. Impromptu history lesson for you there, folks. No one asked for it, but you got it anyway. Okay. Okay. Crossing is not allowed. Okay, we're gonna have to make it a little bit, uh, a little bit taller, apparently. Right, how about that? That's looking pretty good. I think that we can probably get away with making it a little bit less tall, though. Pump it twice, maybe? That's looking pretty darn good to me. How about this? I think... Yeah, I think we're going to be a little bit... A little bit, uh... A little bit pressured for space over here. Uh, there is still a connection over... With the, the road bypass over there. Maybe we just straight up make a, uh, a regular old... Regular old crossing. Just over here at some point. Is this even going to link up? Ooh... I was hopeful, but now I'm less hopeful. I did see green there. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm shocked that that works. Utterly shocked. Utterly shocked and amazed. Alright, I mean, it's still not... Uh, it's still not what I'm looking for, but it's fine. It should work anyway. Yeah, it looks looks good for the most part. I'll just build that extra little bit of road just in case that is actually required. Uh, now I would love to get a little a little a little wooden bridge. What's the difference between a wooden bridge and then every other type of bridge? Crossing's not allowed over there. All right, great. I would love to get a bridge across here. Uh, because this is a very, very busy thoroughfare. Okay, let's see if we can pull this one off. Right. I like to use different styles of bridge. It makes me feel like a proper builder, you know? Can't build due to infrastructure below. Yeah, that doesn't look like that's going to work. I was thinking maybe I could get a sort of road running parallel to the railway, or at least down this way. And then maybe loop it around and uh, and build a bridge. All right. Any luck? No, don't think we're going to have any luck with this. This is a this is a lost cause, I think. Let's uh, let's see if we can get a crossing at a different point. I mean, I don't love it, but it's going to have to be like that, I'm afraid. Alright, this is also going to be a complete disaster to connect, apparently. Too sharp a turn. Really? Come on. We have the finest engineers in the entire world. And this turn is impossible. There we go. Soviet engineering to the rescue. Right, get that connected. So that should make a difference. It also means that we can actually utilize the uh, the fire brigade, the fire station. That's wonderful. Okay, 
everyone's misdirection should be cleared up fairly shortly. I do want to get rid of these tunnels, but don't really have the capability to do that quite yet. You are lost and confused. You're supposed to head to Universigrad train depot. Is that too difficult to ask? Kind of is, actually. Okay. Right. This train is just... I mean, there's no... Let's just, just get rid of it. The Leisuregrad train, an abject failure. A complete and abject failure. There is nothing else to say about it. It was a complete failure. It was just a disaster. It didn't work well. It didn't even, it didn't even look like it was going to work well. You know what? It didn't work well. Well, we've got rid of it now. Hopefully, we'll start to see all of our train issues slowly fade away. Uh, yeah, we're barely producing... In fact, we're not producing any oil because we don't have any power. Because none of the trains that are supposedly delivering to Universigrad... Uh, sorry, uh, Vulcan... Vulcan Dendi. Vulcan Denny? Vulcan Endy. Anyway, whatever the case, we've got no trains that are actually going to where they need to go. Which is a bit of a problem. Right. Poised. Be poised for the unemployment figures to go down. That's what we're waiting for. Right. Let's... Can we put in a bypass to the bypass? I know that this is just... This is just asking for trouble, right? But the idea is titillating. See, the excitement is... I mean... It's it's very exciting. So we can have a bypass to the bypass. Which means that we're just going to be able to... Bypass the main line. So to speak. How is that too sharp a turn? Come on. Give this one to me. If we call it the bypass, can we call it a double bypass? Does that is that is that going to connect up? I'm pretty sure that that's not going to connect up. It actually looks like it will connect up. All right, let's test it out. Let's test it out. See if it makes. See if it works. Wrong type signal. Right here goes nothing. I think that that that, that actually legitimately that looks like a, an angle that works. All right, so that's a double bypass that we've got going on there. This is just a nightmare. This just looks hilarious. Alright, where are you going to? You're going to industry grad. Alright. You're not going to take... You're not going to take the double bypass, though. You're only going to take the single bypass, presumably. Yeah. Alright, well, you know what? If it works, it works. And it looks like the massive road traffic jams that we had uh, going on are now resolved. Which is wonderful. Very, very glad that that's all fixed. How are we doing over in Grain Grad? Uh, we did have a little bit of a problem in Grain Grad. We've now, we've now got 89 tons of food collected. It's pretty darn good going. And we're harvesting like there's no tomorrow. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Everything is good. Lenin would be proud, and Lenin will be proud, especially when we erect busts of him everywhere. It's going to be glorious. Okay, you're going to Oil Grad. Fine. You're going to Vulcan Danny. You're going to take the uh, the regular bypass, presumably. It's still slower, without a shadow of a doubt. It's absolutely still slower, but not much can really be done about that. Well, the interesting thing is going to be... Hold on a minute. That's a chain signal there. Why are we not... Using this uh, train station at the same time. Yeah, not entirely sure why. Uh, not entirely sure why that's not working. Looks like we can only utilize one station at the moment. A building is on fire. Say it ain't so. Is it somewhere that matters? Uh, it's somewhere that definitely matters, but there is no. Uh, there is absolutely no chance of us building a fire station over here. Oh, actually, tell a lie. We actually do have the ability to build a fire station over here. Uh, is there the ability to connect it with a road network? 
No. Okay. I, I think we gotta just, uh... We gotta say goodbye to this one, I'm afraid. Unless by some miracle we... Oh my goodness. You know what? I think that a fire station is now absolutely on the cards. Alright, let's see if we can pull this off. This is going to be a Christmas miracle if this happens. Alright, auto build from Rubles. Yeah, we're going to build that anyway. I know you can barely see what's going on. I can barely see what's going on. It's a bit of a nightmare. The reason that it's worth building a fire station is that if we can save this, then we save so much money. And it kind of sounds ridiculous to say, oh, it's just an aggregate storage, I hear you cry. Yes, it is indeed just a large aggregate storage. However, there's loads and loads and loads of conveyor belts that are inside that are connected to it. And that, my friends, is where the nonsense begins. Because conveyor belts cost a heck of a lot of money. Need flat terrain for a fire station. Let's get that up and running as swiftly as possible, please. Great. Add building where the citizen should go. Obviously there, but also the fire station. Hopefully we can get the fire station done before the train arrives. Looks like we're going to be just fine. And all we need to make sure that we do is uh, give them... Give him a fire engine. Uh, why is this not working? Hold on. What's the most expensive fire engine that we can possibly get? Sure. Now will it work? Looks like it. Right. We don't need a power supply over here, I don't believe. So we should be just fine. Right, great. So now we just arrive, uh, arrive. We need to, we need to just wait for the train station to arrive, the train station, the train to arrive in the station. And then uh, a couple of people should peel off and walk to the fire station. What? What? The people expired? Oh no. Oh no. How did that happen? I mean, there is absolutely no chance of us getting another... There's absolutely no chance of us getting another fire engine to come and save the day. No, I don't even think we have a f another fire station in range. Alright, here's... Okay, here, here's an idea. I, I'm entirely unconvinced that this, that this plan is going to work. Okay. Get this built as swiftly as possible. Invite people. Right? Tell them all to work right here. Right? They all go into the fire station. And then the fire station, the fire truck is dispatched to go and fight the fire over here. Unbelievable. I cannot believe that that actually worked. Right. See if that makes a difference. Well, I am shocked. I am genuinely shocked that that ended up working. I'm not going to keep these guys around for a long time. Aha! Finally. The train the train arrives and uh, and we're actually saved. Well, that was a close call there, folks. That was a really close call. Things got dicey, but uh, but we fixed them with classic Soviet ingenuity. I like it. I'm very proud of myself, as you can probably hear in my voice. Glorious, glorious, glorious. All right, so we should see a couple of uh, we should see a couple of coal trains now dispatched. Now that we've got a little bit more uh, consistent coal supply. I am kind of conscious that I also need to set up a, uh, a route for trains to Irongrad. However, I'm going to actually, believe it or not, 
uh, do that in the next episode because uh, I'm going to be doing some exciting stuff in the next episode. Not like I'm not doing exciting stuff in this episode, I'm just going to be doing population stuff in the next episode. Uh, we want to build Lenins in this episode, but in order to build Lenins, I thought, you know what, we need to make sure that uh, everyone is completely happy and the unemployment numbers are much more reflective of where they should be. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at that. All right, you know what? It it actually worked. This this actually worked. Uh, there's no way that I can go faster, is it? Oh yeah, there we go. If we have a little look, I want to see if I can get from all time, like uh, all time unemployment numbers. Are we at lowest unemployment that we've ever had? If we're not at the lowest unemployment uh, that we've ever had, we're gonna be pretty darn close, I think. I just have to click another 50 times or so. 11,000 births? This seems a little bit extreme. And 7,300 deaths. Goodness gracious me. Alright, we're getting back into the first year of gameplay. Uh, when we didn't really have that many houses. Look at it, you can see where, you can see when we placed all of our houses. Right, unemployment figures. Look at that. I mean, this is pretty much the lowest that unemployment figures have ever been. That is glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. I'm happy with that. I'll take that to the bank. That's pretty darn good news. Uh, yeah, the bypass seems to be working pretty well. I'm not super thrilled uh, that trains have forgotten how to turn around. But, you know, if if they've forgotten to turn around, then at least we've managed to fix it. We're, we're back up to speed. Uh, still no workers at the power plant. That is somewhat of a problem. Very much not thrilled about that, but hey-ho. Two power plants working away, bringing us in rubles and dollars. By the way, we got a heck of a lot of dollars. It's building up uh, nicely over time. Great. Okay, so finally, let's get down to business. Uh, we haven't built me uh, mechanical or electronic components yet, but we will. We will. Give us time. We will. There's absolutely no rush to do anything. All right, so a Red Star Monument uh, auto-build off. Uh, Red Star Monument, uh, Soviet symbol on concrete symbol, Soviet concrete symbol, Soviet emblem, Lenin's concrete monument, Lenin statue in copper. I mean, I think we got to start with a Lenin statue in copper, right? I feel that we should have like a little exhibition, like a little park in the center where we have all of the most important symbols. Oh, that's big. That is gloriously big. Okay, right, right there. Ooh, we're very close. Nice. And then we're just going to see what we can fit in this area. Uh, let's turn this one around, actually. There we go. We've already got uh, a mini Lenin. Maybe we'll save the big Lenin for somewhere else. Okay, that seems realistically like the most that we can actually fit in in this area right let's get the construction let's get this construction guys on the job road connection doesn't exist do we need a road connection i don't think that these guys actually can be connected uh with roads huh okay we found a problem. we found a problem, folks. I'm not entirely sure that this can actually be done. Let me... Let me do a little experiment here. Alright, so this area, right over here, let's get a... Wonderful... Wonderful little road built right down the center. Sure, fund it. However, it doesn't particularly matter. And then let's have a little look. Yeah, I'm not so sure that, uh, I'm not so sure that this can be done at all with the construction people. Because there's no road connection. Alright, well this is unbelievably disappointing. I mean, I am so unbelievably disappointed right now. I can't even, I can't even assign, I can't even assign this construction to... 
to my own chaps. All right, this is uh, this is a bit of a pain. I mean, it might it might auto search, but I I'm pretty sure since there's no road connection, there's literally no chance of it happening. All right. Well, since we built this area, we might as well just get the big land in. There we go. And another Soviet star, sure. Hammer and sickle. What have we got over here? Oh, that's the big old emblem. Can we get the big old hammer and sickle? I will put it over here. It's a little bit scattered, but I am unbelievably disappointed. This is this is what we were building up to. We were building up to building our own monuments. Right. Cancel assignment, cancel assignment. Where is this where's this footpath? Oh, the footpaths are all over here. If I uh if I fund the footpaths, does that does that mean that I can If I fund the footpaths, does that mean that I can I can build the statues? Oh my goodness, I actually can. Okay, this is great. All right, let's fund the footpaths. Because I don't care about waiting around for the footpaths. And then, let's see if we can actually make this whole thing happen. Oh, this is glorious. Look at that. It's it's found them all. Okay, we actually can do this. Right, so it turns out you don't actually need a road connection. You just need a, a path. Okay, that's great. So we don't actually have to build anything. I'm so glad that I didn't click through and actually build uh, any of my own monuments. This is glorious. Okay, lots of workers on the construction site. Everyone wants to, to turn out and force and, and help build these monuments. I'm very grateful to all of my comrade brothers and sisters who want to... who want to get this stuff built. This is great. This is fantastic. Alright, can we get... No. It's maybe a little bit ambitious. Soviet engineering... once again fails. Fails to win the day. Can't get can't get a crossing over there. I was maybe going to see if we could uh, connect up the concrete symbol to somewhere else. But if we can't, no bother. Okay, how are we doing? Unemployment stats. Pretty low. I'll take that. That's fine. Everything seems to be going uh, pretty swimmingly, to be honest. We still haven't seen the, the, the double bypass in action. But I'm sure one of these days it will get used. Not today, though. Hold on. I'm going to try removing these signals. Because for some obscure reason they just do not want to work. Right. Alright, so why do you turn around? Why do you turn around, but no one else turns around? I will never, I will never understand. Never, ever, ever understand. Also, uh, can we progress with uh, the building of this station? Missing resources, uh, asphalt, okay. I mean, we should have as much as we want, really. Yep, there's a heck of a lot. A heck of a lot of the stuff, right over here. The journey is unbelievably long to go and get the uh, the asphalt, though. I can understand why no one wants to drive all that way just to pick up some some tar. All right. Oil production is very very slow, hence why we haven't actually made that much money this episode. Almost all of our money has come uh, directly from selling power as opposed to selling anything else. No research is available. What are you doing down here? Industry grad, you still go to what the heck is happening? I just don't understand. I do not understand how this is happening. A train that's supposedly going to industry grad is, is coming down here. Look at this. Another one. Two trains. You're, you're actually supposed to be going to coal grad. That's fine. I just, I just don't get it. I do not get it. I do not understand why these guys are going down, uh, down this way.
It does not make sense. I just don't I just don't get it. I don't I don't get I don't get why they're why they're pathing completely completely to the other side of the map. I uh, I just don't understand that. But it does mean that we're probably not getting that many people actually to work in industry grad. Maybe or maybe not. Turns out that there's loads of people working in uh, in industry grad. And we've got loads of iron as well, so I mean actually things have never really been better. All right, great. Maybe this whole roundabout train thing is is actually working. All right, great. We've got loads of gravel. Honestly, everything is actually going pretty pretty well. Yeah. Nothing is going too too drastically uh, too drastically poorly. How are we doing with uh, with building these monuments? This is a bunch of gravel that I see being moved into moved into the area. I mean, it's going to take a while. Oh, look! It turns out that they can drive on footpaths. Presumably only in special circumstances. But that's pretty darn good. That is pretty darn good. The asphalt plant can't produce asphalt. Why why is that why is that the case? It's missing bitumen. Presumably because it's being loaded onto a train. Yeah. Honestly, I kind of have half a mind to stop it being loaded into a train. Yeah, might change that. Might change it, at least for now. Get rid of it for now. There we go. Now it should uh, it should show us working, right? There we go. Perfect. Okay, great. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, how are we doing on production of... I say production. On the building of stuff. And we were making fine progress on the television station. We're 20% done. And it's only been, like, what? Two hours of in-game real time since I placed it? Probably more than that, actually. Probably about three. And we need 114 tons of asphalt in order to... In order to get it built. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. You're in for a treat here, folks. You're in for a treat. Can we build another construction office right next door? I, I, or, you know, over the road? I'm not actually sure that that will, uh... hurry things up. We also still need to build a rail construction office. I am acutely aware of this fact. Alright, uh... Okay, come on. There we go. Get that built. Just fund it with rubles. Yeah, there is almost no reason at all to ever utilize the construction office because the speed at which it operates is just unbelievably slow. Okay. Uh, okay, we need to go and assign a whole bunch of stuff. Yep, we'll assign... Here. Right, let's see if this actually makes a difference. I somehow do not think that it will. I don't think that we're going to be allowed to... I don't think that we're going to be allowed to, to do this. Steel. Yep. Bricks, we got a brick factory. I mean, look, we got everything that we could possibly want. Uh, there, sorry, yep. Boards. Also there. Okay, we're missing a whole bunch of stuff, but that's fine. Also, we were offered a brand new excavator. Oh, that's a... It's a new bus. I'll buy a new bus. Missing dumper truck and concrete mixers. Alright, you know, maybe we can actually stack, uh... Maybe we can stack, uh, stack construction offices. Maybe it's my bad for assuming otherwise. All right. Let's get some dumpers. We need the, the biggest dumpers that we possibly can get. Right. And then a whole bunch of concrete mixers. 
There we go. You know what? Let's let's do this. Let's see if we actually can build all of our stuff uh, at a fairly quick rate. The challenge has been set. Let's do this. Cometh the man, cometh the hour. That was almost correct. I'd like to rephrase it. Cometh the hour, cometh the construction depot. Okay. Can't build you to infrastructure. Ironically, we are spending a heck of a lot of rubles to auto-build these construction depots. But don't let that fool you. This is an important mission. Okay. Yep. To be honest, maybe we just have, uh... Maybe we have, like, two or three construction depots which are solely reserved for, uh... Is that gonna work? That's a Christmas miracle that that one works. Okay. Alright, this is, uh... Almost certainly going to be a failure. Okay, uh... There we go. Building is in the way. Yeah, I know, it's the building that I'm trying to connect to! Oh, come on. There we go. Perfect. Get that built. I should just start using uh, mud roads a lot more liberally, I feel. They're actually fairly legit. Okay. Can we get a can we get a road through here? I mean, this is just this is this is not going to work. Look at the look at the elevation that that bad boy's on. That's kind of crazy. All right, let's at least get a couple of these things built. And then let's get some uh some mechanisms inside them. I'm thinking that maybe what we do is that we have a depot which is just solely for solely, solely, solely for uh, concrete mixing. Uh, conc sorry, concrete and uh, asphalt. So, uh, whoops. Yeah. Asphalt and then, oh, it's night time again. Very irritating. And then concrete, and then what we do is we get... Oh wait, is it a, con a, a dumper truck that transports concrete? Uh, it must be a dump truck that transports asphalt. Alright. Let's get rid of that there. Okay. Cool. So that should work. Will that make any difference? It should be... Should be working right away, right? Asphalt plant is not assigned as a source. And... We need to assign workers. Alright. Will that necessarily make a difference? Alright, sell one of these mixers, please. Right. And then we'll see if we can try and get uh, get somewhere that just deals with workers. Right, so... Oh, goodness, I can barely see what's going on. Yep, that there. And then we're just going to buy a whole bunch of buses. I think this is the best bus. 82 passengers. Yeah. Yep, great. Okay, so that's a lot of buses. And then we'll have the asphalt plants, which is working as intended. Great. And what do we transport asphalt in? I think it's a dumper truck, actually. Yeah. 
Right. Let's give it a bash. See if that works. Looks good to me. And then what else do we actually need? We just need workers and that's and that's it actually. Workers and and asphalt. And we've got a lot of asphalt. Okay. Let's get some gravel now. Gravel, yep. And gravel will be from right there. And then we're going to get a bunch of dumpers. All right. This will actually work. Ironically, it will work. I love this. This is this is great. The fact that you can stack uh, stack the stuff up is, is fantastic. It's really, really good. Okay. Let's suspend construction. Demolish this. And also demolish this. This was pretty stupid, but... I mean, didn't really cost us anything. Quite nice. Okay. What's taken such a long time? We need more concrete. But that's A-OK. -okay. We got a lot of buses that are going to be picking up workers. Oh my giddy aunt. A little bit of a problem. Why is this... Why is everyone stuck here? This is just... This should not be happening. There we go. Alright. It's remarkable. Remarkable how we can build such an expansive train network and stuff can still happen that's so utterly bad that the whole network grinds to a halt. Alright. How are we doing? Unemployment numbers? Unemployment numbers are continuing to plummet. Glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. I'm very, very happy with that. This really needs to be a bridge. This is a triple train track crossing. If that's not abysmal, then I don't know what is. Is there a jam somewhere else? Doesn't look like it. All looks good happy to report that everything looks fantastic. Okay. Uh, do we need more excavators? I mean, I can get more excavators. We should probably make some construction depots up here. Okay. One and two. Don't think that I have latitude for a third one. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Really, I was hoping that I would get away with not having to deal with uh, any of that nonsense, but hey-ho. Let's get it built and replace the wires. There we go. Get this built and this built. Right, what do we need? What do we need these... What do we need uh, these construction depots to supply? Maybe excavators? Excavators and bulldozers, perhaps? Uh, you can only get buses, that's fine. Four... Uh, is this excavator any good? Not particularly. Alright, see if that makes any difference. Are any excavators going to be required? It looks like they are indeed going to be required. Fantastic. Lots and lots of excavators is exactly apparently what the doctor ordered. Oh look! We're actually making the uh, the symbols as well. How fantastic. There's still a few more resources that are needed to uh, to finish the site, but we're going to get there. Uh, let's get some more excavators, and then I think that that'll probably do us for excavators. And after that, I want to build one more depot. Or maybe a couple more. Since I've now figured out this is the way that we do it. Uh, nope. Yep. Alright, now this, 
I've decided is going to be the the uh, the depot that gets steel. Why this one particularly? I don't know. In fact, it's probably best not to be this one, but that's fine. Uh, okay, let's get you to let's get you to go and get some steel from the plant. It's going to be a real trek to get the uh, stuff from over here to where it needs to go, but whatever, that's fine. Uh, yeah, and then what do we need to transport steel? I think it's, is it a dumper truck? No, it's not a dumper truck. It's... Paver. Interesting. Uh, sources without steel, tower crane. That's cool. Personal car, that's cool. Covered hull? I think it might be covered hull. Open hull? It's definitely, definitely open hull. Alright, 9 tons of steel. I think that we can go more than that. 13 tons of steel? Yeah, 13 tons of steel seems about the biggest that we're going to see. Right. That's 12 tons of steel, and it's slightly faster, but that's okay. Right, lots and lots of steel. We'll do that. All right. Here goes nothing. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. Look at the progress that we're making. Anything in the anything in the town can now be built relatively easily. Yeah, look, we can assign an unbelievable amount of construction offices, and I wish I could see the number of vehicles that we could assign or vehicles that are actually related. Quite a lot. Quite a lot. Is there any other vehicle that we need more of at the moment? Missing resources? Asphalt? I mean, pretty sure we've got a couple of trucks heading over here to, to get asphalt. We do indeed have a lot. Uh, we're probably going to need to get more trucks. More asphalt trucks. Or more asphalt production, actually, is probably wise. But, you know what? Fine. We're, we're fine for just a little bit for now. We just want one producer. One producer of asphalt. We can live with that. Oh, my giddy ant. It's going a little bit crazy over here, but... At least we're working on, uh... On what needs to be worked on. Okay, we're about 20% through, uh, through all of the emblems. That's kind of cool. Presumably most of the groundwork has been done, right? Yep, okay, so concrete casting is uh, is next on the list. And it looks like the concrete is arriving in uh, in trucks. What do you know? It's working. It's happening. It's happening quite slowly, but it is indeed happening. All the while, the TV station is also being worked on. You know what? If, we, if we're actually able to build the TV station entirely by ourselves, I will be shocked. This was never the plan, but it's, it's a very, very nice bonus. I gotta be brutally honest, it is a lovely little bonus. It's consuming quite a lot of workers, though. Uh... Unemployment numbers are uh, are holding steady. They're quite low. Don't get me wrong. I'm very happy about that. Is there any other resource that we need more of? Probably the only resource that we need more of is, is people. Uh, because there's, there's, there's what could be termed a little bit of a backlog uh, picking up workers from the station over here. Yeah, you know what? Some people might see this as a little bit of a problem. I don't. I see this as an opportunity. Definitely an opportunity. Definitely not a problem. No problems here. What about concrete? Are we are we okay for concrete? Don't actually know if we're okay for concrete. How much concrete are we putting into these uh, into these trucks? Quite a lot, actually. It does take a little while for them to be filled up. But as soon as the demand is there, we've got everything that we need to uh, that we need to have in order in order for these 
in order for these buildings to go immediately into production. I mean, we've got loads and loads of cement, which is grand. Uh, we've got loads and loads of gravel that's been slowly but surely building up, which means that when we do actually need a lot of concrete, we can supply it. We can definitely supply it. Man, I'm really happy with how th how this whole thing is working. Uh, it, it's worth noting that we don't source this without steel. Is it really without steel? It's without steel at the moment. Is there a factory connection that I can get? Uh, yeah, maybe this is a good idea. Open storage to store some steel. I need to go through to the day. I kind of... I kind of want to see, in fact, I kind of, it's more than I kind of want to see. I want to get to a position where we at least build one statue ourselves. That's very important to me. Right. Let's see if we can, I think part of the problem is that we don't have, uh, we don't have a factory that's, that's building steel at the moment. Or we do have a factory that's building steel, but it's all going on the train. Because we're, we're using it to, uh, using it to make money. Which is, in itself, absolutely fine. I've got no issues with that. However, it seems that now the time has come where we need to start using steel for stuff other than making a butt-ton of money. Alright, I'm shocked that that worked, but there we go. Okay. The irony is not lost on me that now, more than ever, I need to, I need to, I need to use rubles to, to rush build these things. Okay. Will this work? Cross the track at some point, please. There we go. Let's get that all built up. We should theoretically have the train run down here as opposed to running into the steel mill, but... That's fine. Right, you can go to... Go to the customs house. Right. Resources are missing, such as coal. Cancel source. Steel can be found right here. And then more steel can be found right here. We don't have any at the moment, but we're going to be getting some very, very shortly indeed. We've got 30 tons of coal coming across. It's not really enough, but hey-ho. The team are working on it. Great. Problem is that we're actually using quite a lot of coal to, uh, to power these power plants. Which is probably worth it, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's making us a consistent amount of money, and that's kind of what's important. Right, now we should start seeing coal coming uh, coming into the steel plant, and that will actually allow us to start making steel. Grand. That's glorious. It's perfect. Right, so as long as we can keep up the... Keep satiating the... Sa satiate, sha satiating or s satiating? Whatever the case. As long as we can keep uh, keep up with the demand for coal, we should be fine. Ironically, iron, which we spent a whole episode building Irongrad, is, uh, is, not the, is not the limiting factor anymore. It is without a shadow of a doubt coal. And also employees. Because for some reason, the whole darn train network is uh, not working as smoothly as it uh, as it should be. I say that it's the problem is, I think, down to the fact that we're now using a bunch more workers in the construction process, so that means the lot fewer are actually getting to industry grad. Yeah, maybe we should have like a construction grad where we just draw workers from. Truthfully, that might be required. Nope, still nothing. Yeah, it's a lot of steel that we need. Steel is literally the thing that we require in the largest quantities. And the steel trucks are being dispatched over here, but they're going to come to find very, very little steel. 
unfortunately. Very little steel, very little coal as well. Yeah, we just do not have enough of the stuff. Yeah, we got a lot of the stuff over here, uh, but that's all used as a buffer for the uh, for the power plant. So we can't really afford to, to waste that. Yeah, this is just a straight-up unfortunate situation. How are we doing in Colgrad? I feel that that might be something that's uh, hampering us. What the heck is this? What are you doing? What are you doing out here? I just... I don't get it. I do not get it. Industry grad. Yep, you're going to go up the way that you're supposed to go. University grad, yeah, you're okay. Leisure grad to oil grad. I mean, leisure grad station is this one, apparently. Not entirely sure why it's called leisure grad, but hey ho. I just don't understand how how you are able to how you're able to do that. Oh, I actually do understand how you're not able to do that. No, wait, no, I don't. You're now going to Potato Grad Train Platform 2. That's fine. You can... No, hold on. What? So you're going from Potato Grad... You're going to Potato Grad Train Platform 2, and you think that the best way to go and do that is by going all the way around here, and then all the way down this way, and then all the way down this way, and then back up? Okay, I mean... Can I maybe try and fix that? By doing a little loop earlier? Seems kind of a, a little bit counterproductive. How is that how is that allowed, honestly? Signals are in the way. Yeah, I know signals are in the way. However, I feel that signals could quite easily not be in the way. Uh I mean, that... There was a little bit of green there. Jeez Louise. This is just shocking. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We fight on. We fight on. The real enemy is not the Americans. The real enemy is the horrific... The horrific... The horrific rail networks that just are... They, they just don't seem to go away. Uh, that might actually make a difference though and it might mean that this train is is able to get to where it needs to go very much faster and if that is indeed the case then that's great but what we really need is more workers to go and build steel for us and we need more coal to go and work as coal we're only getting 42 tons from this thing we're just not getting anywhere near enough right that's a little bit of a problem. What we can do, though, what we can do, and this is something that I've been thinking about for a little while, uh, is we can... Hold on. Why are you not... Why are you not being filled? Building is without power supply? Building is without a power supply. Why are you without a power supply? Is it literally just because no one's working at the power plant? Okay, people are now working at the power plant. Is that... is that all fixed? No. It's not fixed. Uh... Okay, this is a... this is a bit of a problem, because that means that we can't load. You're without a power supply. You're without a power supply. Let's try and trace back this problem. You're without a power supply. Was it something that I did earlier? Oh, no, I know exactly what it was. I know exactly what it was. It was right here. All right. That is... That is... That's my bad, honestly. There we go. Okay. So now that that's rectified, we should have no issues 
with power, no nothing. We should have plenty of coal coming through. That's great. Happy days. Uh, yeah, we've burnt through all of our coal very, very quickly. Great, and we're probably... Yeah, we're not doing so great. We're not doing so great on the coal front. But uh, as long as we... As long as we deliver a, a very, very large amount of coal over the next couple of trains, we should be absolutely fine. We got a lot of trains. Good. How many people are still living here? Quite a lot. Honestly, I'm... I'm shocked that people are still living here even though they're not getting even basic amenities. Can I build some more flats over here? I mean, if people are willing to stick around, then... Why not, right? Uh, there was a there was a suggestion that this is the model that I deploy for Irongrad. I think that this is probably what's going to end up happening. There we go. More people. It's not going to be many people, but some people nonetheless, and that means more coal. There we go. Literally everyone work at the coal mine. Why is, why is no one going to... No one going to where they're supposed to be going. Alright, whatever. Okay, great. Almost two full trains of coal, which means that the coal's all going to be delivered to where it needs to go. Happy days. You're going to meet Grad, that's fine. Have we fixed this situation? Have we fixed this situation? I think the proper question is, have we managed to make it worse? And the without a doubt answer is yes, we absolutely have managed to make this worse. Yeah, I'm not super convinced that this is uh, a great plan that we've got going on here. However, however, I've just seen a way that I can rectify this. Alright, you should now be able to go free. Okay, here's my plan. A railway bridge. It's going to be a little bit of an ambitious one, this one. However... However, however, however... It's not going to stop me from trying. Ugh, this field being in the way is uh, is intensely irritating. I'm thinking if we could get it over here, then it could just come and sneak in the back. Right. Get rid of that. Maybe even a tunnel? A tunnel definitely would not work here. The problem is, with bridges, that they are unbelievably difficult and unwieldy to operate. Uh, difficult to build. Okay. Okay, let's see if this will work. I mean, I'm... very doubtful. Although, if we get rid of this little bit of road that I that I built as an extra anyway. Oh my goodness. This looks like a proper plan right here, folks. Okay. Ooh, that's very, very close. That can be changed, though. Okay, get it built. Uh, do we have enough money for it? We do actually have enough money for it. Okay, good. Get that built. All right, this is this is going to be the the actual thing that fixes our our rail network. Okay. What I'm going to do? I'm going to buy a brand new train. Uh, motor wagon. Yep. 
copy the order onto there. Dispatch you. And then sell you. Get rid of that one. Great, and that means that we don't have to worry about it anymore. Hopefully that will allow things to somewhat be cleared up. Can I delete this now? <sighs> Unfortunate. Can I put in a replacement road here? There we go. Looks like indeed I can. Right. Get that out of the way. And then let's see if we can get this... Uh, this railway connected up properly. Looks like it might be a sh shade tight. Hmm. Very, very irritating, actually. Right, let's wait until the day. So that we can actually see what's going on. Yeah. There's no way... There's no latitude for uh, for correction over here. I don't think that there's going to be, unfortunately. Okay, get rid of that. Yeah, the turn the turning circle is just uh, going to be too t too demanding, I think. Some other infrastructure is in the way. Yeah, we're going to try and come down as far as we possibly can, but. Yeah, I think this is a this is a this is a mission that's doomed to fail. But part of me wants to just keep persevering for the sake of saying that I've tried. Oh, that's close. That is really close. Take it back a bit, a little, little bit, and try again. Okay, can we go a little bit further forward? We can certainly try. Uh, up to about there is what we've got. It's all... It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. The mission that was doomed to fail didn't fail. Okay, it looks jammy. Looks very, very jammy. But we're gonna give it a blast. Alright, so if that fixes all of our problems, then that's great. If it doesn't fix all of our problems, well, I'm gonna be very upset. Uh, I still don't understand why the, the, the trains suddenly started forgetting how to turn around. But you know what? We live with the consequences of our actions. And I'm quite conscious that uh, I make a lot of mistakes. Okay, there is, in a very metaphorical sense, or sorry, in a very literal sense, but also perhaps in a metaphorical sense, there is a, 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 a fire breaking out in the, uh, in the headquarters of the Communist Party. Now, that should be covered by this fire station, right? Looks like it, just on the periphery. I think there's a fire truck already on the go. I think I saw it over here. It is indeed. Wonderful. Good job, everyone. That would be a little bit of a PR disaster if it ever got out to the west that uh, the headquarters had caught on fire. Right, I still don't know if we've actually made anything better or anything worse. Fact is, is that it's it's happened now, so, so there we go. Uh, have we built any statues? Oh my goodness, look at this. We are actually making progress. Resources needed to finish the entire construction. About 1.3 tons of steel and a couple of work days. So presumably, it's mostly the steel that we're waiting for. And looks like it. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to change. We're going to change this because at the moment, the train is picking up directly from the depot. We should probably change that so that the train picks up from the open storage area. Uh, but there's no real rush to get that changed right now. I'm just going to dispatch him on that little train, should I say, uh, so that we can accrue a little bit, uh, a little bit of steel in the meantime. I think there should be one steel truck somewhere. Yep, looks like a couple of uh, steel trucks are on the go now. 
Are we going to finish one statue? Just one statue is all we really want. Have we got enough coal? Uh, we got a little bit of coal. And coal is the resource that is required. But the good news is that we'll have a lot more coal very, very shortly. After we get 535 tons of the stuff arriving... Uh, our unrefined coal arriving over at the uh, the aggregate unloading stop in just a moment. Lenin would be proud of what we've accomplished. Very proud. Very proud. We've almost we've almost accomplished greatness. We've almost built a single statue. Well, we've all we've built like quite a lot. If we'd only built one, we probably would have finished it by now because they do actually require quite a lot of steel. But that's okay. It's all part of the learning process, right? And the train network looks like it's been uh, fixed. I mean, it was fixed. It was fixed before, but now it's been doubly fixed. Uh, this is the last time that this industry grad dude is going to have to go around. Because now we've got this remarkable bridge. Remarkable, I do say. Remarkable. Part of this problem, by the way, could be completely avoided if uh, if if uh, if we were able to build train platforms that had more platforms, train stations that had more platforms. Because at the moment we only have two, and that's uh, that's definitely something that the developers have confirmed that they're going to be working on in the future. But for now, we're we're just stuck with we're stuck with two. What is this? You've got you got four point eight tons of steel. That's pretty good going. That's pretty good going. Is that going to be enough to give us the steel that we need? I. I don't know about that. Alright. Lots and lots of coal. I say lots and lots of coal. A little bit of coal. We are churning through this coal like there is no tomorrow. There is definitely something that we're going to need to do uh, to change up the coal. Because at the moment it's being processed just far too slowly. Yeah, I think what we're probably going to start doing is moving our coal refining operations over to Colgrad, as I talked a little bit about earlier. It's the only place that we really can expand. This this area is fine, uh, and we obviously need to keep it. Uh, we obviously need to keep it full of coal because uh, we got two coal power plants that run off it, or run off this aggregate storage, should I say? Uh, however, for coal to the steel mill, I think it's probably wise that we build up a little bit of a a little bit of a coal refining area over in Colgrad, and then we just transport the refined coal directly to the. Uh, directly to the steel mill. That would be my suggestion anyway. I am shocked that the residents are still here even though they can't get any food. Glorious. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. More coal for me. And and what what's good for me is good for the is good for the for the people. Ain't that the truth? All right, a bit of fuel. No bitumen is being uh, is being transported because it's all being used in asphalt production, which is still going. It's just taking a little bit of time. I maybe feel that there should be a shortcut in here. Yeah, it seems like a an awful shame that. The truck's going to collect asphalt need to go all the way around here. But you know what? That's a problem for a future me. It's a future potatoes problem. Okay. Uh, have we got a statue yet? Have we got a singular statue? Gosh darn it. 1.3 tons of steel is all that's required in order to get us over the line. I think, yeah? Oh no, 11 tons of steel. Okay, we actually need quite a lot of steel for all of these things. Uh, and it doesn't look like that's happening at a... At a rate that's... That's good. Okay, I'm going to import... I'm going to start importing coal. Right. It's going to start costing a heck of a lot of money. However, it's going to mean that we can make coal a heck of a lot faster. Uh, yeah, so short term... We're going to start importing coal into the steel mill. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we'll keep it in rubles. Keep it in rubles for now. And it can work in tandem with... Uh, can work in tandem with the deliveries. Okay, you need to go to the steel... Uh, the customs house again, should I say? Because we, we need the steel to be delivered to... We need the steel to be delivered to our open storage. Because it's much more important that we finish... The glorious statues of Lenin and the other glorious statues around the around the place. Oh my good golly goodness. We are actually laying bricks. Can you believe it? Ah, hold on. Here's a problem. I've spotted a problem. I've spotted a problem, folks. Uh, we don't have a construction depot that is solely responsible for moving bricks. I want to be frank. This is not a real problem. But it is something that we can uh, that we can fix right now. Okay. Good. Right. Who who picks up bricks? Okay. Over there. Yep. Great brick factory. What mechanism is it for for brick carrying? It looks like it's open hull. That's fine. Uh, we'll get the big old the big old beefy brick carrying trucks I guess here we go and we should immediately see all of these guys uh, dispatched to where they need to go right as soon as as soon as the auto search fixes itself there we go we're so close to finishing one Soviet symbol one of these days, I swear, it'll actually happen. Alright, how much concrete have these guys got on them? Zero, zero tons of concrete. Great. Just great. Alright, this looks like a nightmare that has transpired. I don't actually understand what's going on here. Okay, that looks like it's fixed things. How the heck? How the heck does this thing work? Oh my goodness gracious me. What is going on in this sweet, sweet hell? Um. Remove this. Sure. Oh, goodness gracious me. So it turns out that just making a more complex train network is, is just a bad idea. Yeah, to be honest, we we need to we need to find we need to find a way to actually fix this this network because it's uh it's it's pretty disastrous. I I don't actually think it needs fixing to be honest. I mean, it's it's chaotic and I love it. I love the chaos. However, the problem is definitely the fact that there are too many trains on the network. There are just far too many trains on the network. It's just getting too busy. Yeah, you've only got five workers left on the on the train. That's fine. Yeah, so things are very very busy. I don't I don't particularly love it. Uh, but it's it's fine. It's it's it'll do for now. There we go. Get that in place. Perfect. Come on, just one symbol, one symbol, one statue, anything, literally anything, please. It's just steel that we need. It's just steel. We just need 1.3 tons of steel. 1.3 tons of steel. That is all that's required. I'm really busting my guts to try and get steel built as quickly as possible. Right, you. Go to the customs house immediately. Okay. Loading up with steel. Fantastic. Problem is that we need more workers. We need many, many, many more workers than we currently have working in the, uh, working in the steel mill and we're just not, we're just not getting any. Purchase resources for rubles. 34 tons of steel. I mean, this is going to bankrupt me very, very quickly. However, I feel it might be the only way to... Uh, 
actually get enough steel. It's going to start costing a pretty, pretty penny, but we're going to have to rely on uh, oil revenues to fund this, because I cannot wait. I cannot wait for more, for more steel to be made. Oh look, here come the bricks. The bricks are coming are coming through thick and fast. All right. Well, at least the TV station's getting built. Uh, I didn't want the steel to go to the TV station. I would much rather they go towards all of the little statues that we're trying to build at the same time, apparently. Uh, but that's fine. All right. Skip to the next day. At least if we're buying in steel, it means that we don't need to worry about uh, about any of the trucks not picking up steel and then returning to the statue empty-handed. Also, employment figures, they've gone, they've gone up again. Okay, that's unfortunate. I think that was probably due to the fact that we had a little bit of a traffic jam on the, on the rails. What are you doing? Why are you going through the middle of the... I built a bypass specifically for you. What are you do what are you doing? So some trains just decide to go wherever they want apparently. I just I don't understand. I do not understand the rationale. It would be good if you had waypoints to like set the trains to tell the trains, you know, to go a specific route or even if you could see the route that they were going to take. Kind of like in Transport Fever. But apparently that uh, that is just absolutely out of the question. Or at least, it might not be out of the question, but it's not been, uh, it's not been implemented thus far. Alright, lots and lots of steel coming through now. We really are in the end game. I'm excited to finally, 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 finally get uh, at least one statue done here. Also, boards. Boards, boards, boards. I don't think we have a... Yeah, I don't think we have a, a boards uh, factory. Hold on. Who can carry open hull... Open, st open hull stuff is boards as well. So we should get these guys to carry boards. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that depot can do boards as well. That's cool. Happy with that. Right, great. Come on, one statue left. Come on, deliver your goods. Oh, glorious. Glorious. It's true. It's going to happen right now. We're going to finish this statue off. It's... Oh. Look at this. Look at this, comrades. It's finally happening. It's finally happening. Marvel. In the Soviet engineering ability to construct a statue. It only took us months and months and months. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Everyone best be happy. This is this represents so much more than what it actually stands for. Glorious. Truly, truly glorious. I'm over the moon. Really very, very happy about it. It did take us a long, long time. But you know what? It's fine. Uh, and also, uh, the, the the thing that we should probably be noting right now is that we're, we're, we're almost done with a bunch of statues. Uh, 60%, 90%. We're also 34% of the way through the TV station, which is, uh, which is quite an achievement, if I do say so myself. I didn't think that we would ever be uh, at a stage where we could actually say that we're probably going to build this TV station all by ourselves. Uh, it's, it's, it's glorious. It's wonderful. What a what an occasion. What an occasion to celebrate. Well, uh, on that note, ladies and gents, we are actually going to end the episode. I bet you thought that the end of this episode would never come, but here we are. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. Ignore that. I'll see you next time. Bye.